so we had wanted to get a motorhome for a long, long time. Um, and we started off, what was the real trigger for it? Me retiring. Yes, it was, wasn't it? Mm. Um, so Sarah's taken a sort of early retirement um, and it sort of really gave us the opportunity to um, get the van. Now we had a, we dipped our toe in the water, didn't we? A number of years ago now. What did we, where did we go? We hired a camper van in Glasgow and we did a bit of the Scottish Highlands. Yeah, we did a sort of Inverness, that's right, an Inverness and Glencoe. Yeah. And it really got us excited. Um, the kids weren't too over enamoured, um, but they're a little bit older now. Um, so we're, uh, we're starting our adventures afresh. Um, so this is Margot. It's a C150, uh, so C Tura 150 um, queen bed. Um, and this is currently, I think, our fourth journey out. It is. Um, so I document them all. You've been keeping a diary. Um, yay, diary. Um, and it's really been a bit of a, I don't know, fact finding, haven't we, so far? I don't think yeah. we've got it right. No, have we? We're, we're definitely st not. We're still learning. Um, and it's things like twizzling the seats round, just getting into a routine of being able to do that, making sure we've got the right food, the pots and pans, the, the tomatoes. We forgot the tomatoes this trip for you. And butter and the cheese. And where to store things as well, because, um, yeah, we've got lots of storage, but it doesn't seem enough. So we've got to find a system that works yeah. for us. You've just got to have that bit of organisation, haven't we? Yeah. But having said that, in Margo, we've got plenty of storage, so we just really got to just get used to it. And I'm sure that people who've just bought their first van will probably feel exactly the same way. So what we hope to try and do is maybe just share a few of the bits and pieces that we've learned along the way um, to help people who are buying their first van and um, kitting it out for the first time. Because um, that certainly wasn't my department. Kitting it out was yours. You had a great time, it was. didn't you? Yeah. yeah. Spent a, <laughs> a fortune. But it's all necessary. And I think when you've got everything in the van, then you don't have to worry about, oh, what do we need to pack? So at the moment, all we do is really put food and clothing in. When it? we remember the food. <laughs> and then, um, and then we, we, just, we just hit the road and we just crack on. We've been quite novicey at the moment as well, haven't we? We've done one um, off-grid stay, yeah. um, which was by a pub. Uh, up in Leeds, which is really, really good. Um, big shout out to the Rade Fox because they are a lovely, lovely pub and they will happily allow um, the camper vans in their big car park around the back. And it's right next to Round Hay Park as well, isn't it? Mm. So Nice venue, good pub. Exactly. Accept dogs. A dog, yeah, dogs can go in the pub. And then obviously you've got the park right next to it as well, so you can have a wander around the park. So that was our first sort of off-grid experience. Um, this time uh, we are, we've just done a night at... Clumber Park. Clumber Park. Really nice, wasn't it? Mm, really really nice. good. Yeah, yeah facilities good just really, really clean, uh, tidy, um, nice site, very welcoming. No Wi Fi. Yeah, so no phone signals. That was the only downside. But then again, you know, if you go away, that's the kind of thing you want, really, isn't it? You can get away from it all. Yeah. Um, but it meant going to bed at half past nine last night because we couldn't get anything on telly. Aren't we sad? We are. But and let's, it was let's, raining, I was going to so say, let's sit yeah, outside. add into the mix the fact that it was blowing a hoolie and it was chucking it down with rain. So um, otherwise, yeah, we'd have been sat out with a GT and a beer, um, Definitely. Just, just passing the time. Hopefully tonight. Fingers crossed, because tonight we're off to Castleton. So a lot of people are debating, you know, do we join the Caravan and Motorhome Club, etc. If you're starting out, I would suggest it's a really, really good thing to do. Um, you can book the sites in advance, you can plan a bit of a route as we've done um, and you've been able to just be comfortable. You can plug in the electrics and you can get your van up and running and also just get used to stuff isn't it? Yeah. Um, getting used to the fact of oh are we using gas on the fridge or are we using electricity and we've, we're quite fortunate we've got solar panels on the roof so we can be recharging the leisure battery as we go um, but it's just getting all of that so if you are a novice I would suggest doing the whole Caravan and Motorhome Club thing. Obviously, we're not trying to promote them or anything, but we're just saying. Um, because it gives you that bit of security and peace of mind as you as you start off. You've got um, water for filling up on site and all the grey waste disposal and even a bike wash and a dog wash as well. Yeah, that was really good, actually. Yeah. Yesterday. And highlight, chip wagon came round last night as well. So we had corned mm. beef hash and chips and a little bit of cheeky halloumi, didn't we? I had to stand for 30 minutes in the pouring rain, but it was worth it. Absolutely right. But you haven't shrunk. No. So that's all good. Waterproof. Um, 
Um, so then Castleton tonight. So hopefully Castleton, the site is about 2k out of Castleton itself. So we've got the bikes in the back. Um, we, you'll, you'll see about our bikes in a different video. Um, but we've got the bikes in the back so we can have a bike down to Castleton. Uh, we'll take the dog with us uh, and then go for an explore, hopefully find a couple of nice pubs um, to have a bit of dinner in maybe, or just go and generally explore. And then uh, tomorrow we're off to Knaresborough, aren't we? Indeed we are. Again, predictable, a motorhome club site. But again, we just this is our longest time away, so we're just making sure that we've got everything right and it, and it all works properly. Um, what would you say are the key things we've learned so far? Hmm. I don't know. Um... <laughs> don't know what that was. <laughs> An inappropriate beep going on. So I don't know what that was. To remember to shake the alarm thing before you set off. Yeah, so we have a phantom tracker, um, or moving intelligence as they're now called. And um, great piece of kit, don't get me wrong, because if, if the van moves or anything, um, straight away they, they pick it up on a sensor and they will ring you to say, well, what's happening with your van? I think we had three calls so far today, <laughs> today, haven't we? Yeah. Today, yeah. Um, you've just got to make sure that the, the little key fob is alive and flashing red. Uh, and if it isn't, then you know you're in trouble. Um, so, yeah, we've really got to make sure we do that. Um, so remember the food. Remember all the food. Did a big Tesco shop the night before we set off. And, um, yes, got everything that we needed, but some stuff was put in the fridge and we forgot to take it with us. Prior planning prevents mm. you-know-what. Um so there's that, um, but I, I think we, I think we right. need to work out a dance, how to shimmy past each other when we're using high traffic areas, don't we? <laughs> a little, little waltz or, yeah, two okay. step. Yeah. Okay, and we'll maybe feature that in a video in the future. Uh, I'm not so sure I'm terribly keen on doing that at the moment, but anyway. So there's a bit of an insight into what we've done so far and where we've been. Um, we'll keep you updated as we go. But if you'd like to follow our novice journey as beginners, please do so. Like, subscribe to the videos and uh, we'll Have see a good you soon. Laugh. Indeed, yeah, exactly. <laughs> Thank you.